Hey friend, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna walk you through my top three fig gem templates that I think you should start using right now because they're not only incredibly easy to use but also highly effective for getting shit done at work. Actually, these templates have been a real game changer for my team. We use them every week and everyone here absolutely loves them. So let's jump right in. Before we get into today's video, let's see what's happening in the world of web design and no code. Wix has announced the new Wix Studio, which combines all the simplicity and ease to use of Wix with the power of Editor X into one single tool. Now, let me show you some really cool stuff. When you click on a section, you can now make sites instantly responsive in just a click of a button, and voila, your section is now optimized for mobile. You can repeat this for all your sections, turning hours of work into less than 10 minutes. Thank you, AI. You're welcome. One thing that's always bugged me is getting every pixel in its perfect place and making sure the spacing of all my elements is consistent. But now you can quickly inspect margins, paddings, and docking to make sure everything is where it's meant to be. Styles are incredibly useful because they really help you design fast and keep your site nice and tidy. On this tab here, you can define colors and typography and apply them across your website. Bang! Using ready-made sections uh, might feel like cheating sometimes, uh, but trust me, they can be a lifesaver because they're designed following the best practices and can be easily customized to satisfy your website needs. I mean, look how cool is this footer! Interactions is what really brings a website to life and Wix Studio comes with a wide range of interactions. What's cool about it is that you can see them in action without having to go on preview mode, huge time saver, also, you can create custom animations for your sections, kind of like Webflow, but a whole lot simpler. Now, when it comes to building websites, what truly matters is the ability to convert visitors. Now, as designers, we focus a lot on the aesthetic and how things look, but there's so much more we need to consider, like the speed, reliability, usability, and essentially how to optimize our beautiful sites for the web. That's why the team behind Wix Studio has created a real complete platform that can help you build websites that are not only visually appealing, but also SEO friendly, like weight on code, and easy for your clients to manage as well. You can use the link below to get started with Wix Studio today and now let's go back to the video. Let's kick things off with the first template, which is the Design Critique template. Right, at work we use a slightly different version, but I kind of prefer this one because it's more minimal and I couldn't find the one we use at work either. So for reference, the one I'm showing you today, it's from UX Chunks. Now I want to make it clear that I'm not the creator of any of the templates I'm about to show you today. I've simply been using them in my work and you can find them on the Figma community and I'm also going to link them in the description below. But before we jump in, I know that some of you may be junior designers who haven't experienced a design critique before. So first thing first, what is a design critique? So in essence, a design critique is when the entire team gathers together to discuss a design solution. And the idea here is for the person sharing their design to receive feedback and enhance their solutions based on what their peers have to say. And you can do this at various stages of your design process because you can ask for different types of feedback. Like uh, if you're showing low fidelity sketches, uh, you're not gonna need feedback on the UI, but maybe on the information architecture, uh, the layout and so on. And depending on your team's preferences, uh, you can either schedule uh, dedicated time slots on your calendar for design critiques or simply ask on the spot if you wish. At work, we have a critique session every week where designers can sign up to present their work. And these sessions usually run for about an hour. And we've been able to maintain this consistently because we found the right formula that works for us. You know, design crits can often feel a bit forced, maybe because folks don't have the full picture of your project or they're worried about giving you the wrong type of feedback. 
and that's why using a template uh, that is fun and easy to use can make your critiquing uh, feel uh, less uh, intimidating and critical if that makes sense so to get started make sure you fill this in before showing your designs i would suggest not leaving it uh, until the last minute and make sure we're up to date uh, since uh, you're basically copying screens from your actual uh, figma file so setting the context is super important so that everybody gets a clear picture of what you're presenting. Next, uh, talk about the problems you're trying to solve and what stage you're in. Like, uh, are you brainstorming ideas or showing uh, the final solution? You can also mention any constraints uh, like things you wanted to do or uh, you considered but couldn't implement for this milestone. When it comes to feedback, just let everybody know if you want to dive into things like uh, UX or UI specifically or you're looking for feedback on the bigger picture like ideas and concepts and now that you've got everything filled in and your later designs are in the file it's time to get into the critique session you can even jump straight into your presentation without uh, going over the project background since it's already there but if you're like me you can give a quick uh, overview of what you're about uh, to present because you know not everybody is going to read the text also consider setting a timer before you present and press play time's up now here's the magic of this template now you're gonna ask everybody to grab these sticky notes and share their feedback and yes you might want to set a timer for this part as well i think uh, personally 10 minutes is more than enough but feel free free to change it if you wish and the purpose of these four sticky notes is to help participants avoid the personal biases like uh, I like, uh, I would, uh, I think and at the end of the session your playground should ideally be filled with a mix of colorful sticky notes as opposed to just one color. Typically at work we reserve some time to go through these notes allowing folks uh, to provide additional feedback however the idea behind this template is for you to review the notes at your own on time so feel free to do whatever works best for you and last but not least let's talk about file organization so since figma doesn't have layers for some reason a simple way to organize this file is to group all the critic sessions in a big section name it with a current month and hide it at the end of the month the next template is from jenny wen who is an amazing designer behind some really cool features at figma and this template is actually used by her team at FigGem. I mean, how cool is that? So the goal of this template is essentially to provide all designers with a framework to showcase what they're working on each week or every other week, if you wish. And our work, we use it on a weekly basis and it's been amazing to use because it allows us to compile all our projects into one place instead of having to go through individual Figma files. Unlike the critique template, this isn't about getting your work critiqued, but it's a place where everybody can share what they're working on with other designers in their team or company. It's kind of a show and tell for your projects or a chance every week to put your work out there and collaborate with your team. Now you can start by adding your profile picture, then you can share something interesting from your life, which is a kind of fun icebreaker. Next up, you've got your priorities for the week and if there's anything the team can help you with, just give them a heads up. Then you need to add the key screenshots for each project that you're working on, including the status, Figma file, and all the information you need. The weekly design team sessions are particularly effective if everybody collaborate and take it seriously. So try to get your team involved and excited to do this exercise, even when they want to skip it because you know, we're too busy with their work. And to help you with it, I would recommend setting a reminder, maybe a day or a few hours ahead so that your team always know to fill this in before the meeting and also using a timer for each presentation can be quite handy to make sure everybody is on time and avoid wasting people's time obviously i will stick to five to ten minutes each as you can see we are not done with this template yet there are two more sections here so this is your chance to reward a colleague who's done amazing work by giving them kudos 
it's just a friendly gesture that in my opinion can make uh, the difference and doesn't take too much of your time and if you have anything else to share that's not project related you can add it here there's a section here where you can talk about an upcoming project or feature launch so that your team can always be in the loop about what's happening in the business now i'm sure most of you have come across this template before but i wanted to mention it because it's such an important and essential activity i've used at every single company i've been part of any guesses that's right it's finally time for a retrospective now i've seen many versions of this template but my personal favorite cannot be found on fiction back in the pre-remote work era at one of my previous companies we used to get together in the same room at the end of each sprint one person usually pm will sketch out the classic island scene with you know a boat and the sun on this giant uh, whiteboard and we will use actual uh, sticky notes that never worked <laughs> because they weren't sticky enough, so we had to use a blue tag to keep them up. It was so fun, we all love it. But don't worry, if that's not possible for you, you can always use this Fig Jam template. This one I found is from Stas. He's got some really cool templates that you should definitely check out. First of all, if you never heard of Retrospective before, it's basically when the whole team gets together after finishing a big project or a sprint. And it's just a chance for everybody to talk about what went well, what didn't, and how to make things better next time. And the goal is to help the team learn and improve for the future. Anyone on the team can set this up, it doesn't have to be a manager or anything. And if you know your way around FigJam, you know, maybe you should be the one to suggest this template and help run the session as well. Once everybody is in the file, you can explain how this session will go down. There's some info here, but I can recap this for you. So as you can see, there are four sections, but at the beginning, we are only be focusing on the first three. Start means suggesting new ideas or practices. Stop involves identifying what's causing problems and should be dropped. Keep acknowledge what's working well and we should uh, continue doing. For the first 15 minutes, each participant uh, will take some sticky notes and write down their honest thoughts uh, for each section, which be directly related to the sprint, quarter or project that you've just finished. Then you have 10 minutes uh, to go through each sticky and only 5 minutes to vote your favorites. Also. You might want to consider giving participant a specific number of dots. In this way, they will have to choose uh, their top priorities, helping the team focus on the most important issues. And lastly, one person will grab the most voted stickies and drag them to the final section. Now, it's really important for everybody on your team to act on the outcomes to ensure the team is heading in the right direction so that the retrospective is not just a time-consuming activity. Trust me, you don't want that. That wraps up today's video. Please share in the comments which one was your favorite. Enjoy the next video. Ciao!